Hey everybody, it's Dusty Martin with Platinum Living Realty dropping in to give you your monthly market update for the city of Phoenix. It is August 20, it is August 18th, 2022. We're just going to get right into it. So buckle up, grab a drink, hit the subscribe button, and we'll get right into it. I don't like that. Grab a drink, buckle up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll jump right into it. All right, our active listings are up. This number is going to sound scary, but our active listings are up 142.1% over this time last year, but our sold listings are only down 30.2% over this time last year. Our median price per square foot, though, is way up at 21.8% over this time last year, currently sitting at about $294 and change. Um, average per square foot in the city of Phoenix. Our month supply is up. Now, this is a crazy number because it's a little deceiving on the surface. Our months of supply is up 246%. Per oh, excuse me. Our months of supply is up 246.8% over this time last year. And that sounds pretty crazy until you realize that this time last year, we only had about two weeks worth of inventory or 0.53 months. And even with that huge increase, we're still at only 1.85 months of supply, meaning about seven weeks of inventory. Anytime you start talking about inventory in real estate in matters of days or weeks, that means things are pretty crazy hot and inventory is still crazy low. So our months of supply still well under eight weeks or two months worth of inventory. Our median days on market is up only slightly at 22.2% over this time last year. Doesn't sound like it sounds like a lot, but really this time last year we were selling homes in 18 days. Now we're selling them in 22 days. That's still crazy fast, considering that it takes about 30 days to close a loan. So that's, that tells me that there's still a lot of cash floating around in the valley and that if homes are priced and marketed appropriately, they are still flying off the, the shelves really quickly. So let's get over to our, um, our months of, so, so, bleh, bleh. all right. Let's get over to our months of supply by price point. This is important if you're looking to buy a home because you need to know what you are up against, but it's also important if you're looking to sell your home so that you don't overprice and try to overshoot the market. So keep that in mind. Our months of supply overall, like I said, was 1.85, just under two months. When we get to the zero to $100,000 price range, we are at like a week of inventory. We had two new ones come on the market, but eight sold. So there wasn't a whole lot of inventory um, that came on the market to satiate the demand. And then we look at the uh, $100,000 to $200,000 price range. We're just over a one month supply. Again, lightning hot seller's market territory. Then we get to the $200,000 to $300,000 price range. For the first time in a long time, we're starting to see inventory but it's still only a month and a half worth of inventory. Remember, anything under four months of supply is a seller's market. It just varies on the degree of which that seller's market is going to be hot. The closer you get to zero, the hotter it's gonna be. If that makes sense, hit the subscribe button. All right, so then we look at our 300 to $500,000 price range, and this is like our bread and butter now. This is like an average home in Phoenix now, and we are still at just over a month and a half worth of inventory, 1.56 months of supply. That's, that's not a lot, so you're still gonna be seeing multiple offers, but you might not see, um, huge bidding wars except on super hot properties and you might not be having to give up your appraisals at this point um, and inspections things like that then we look at the 500 to 700 thousand dollar price range we're at two and a quarter months of supply still seller's market territory but this is where you start to see like one or two maybe three really good offers instead of five or ten or fifteen and then we look at the 700 to a million dollar price range still two and a quarter months of supply so you're like at nine weeks of inventory for the high-end market not not so much luxury that's kind of like a million and over but the high-end above average home 
still, I mean, you're in pretty strong seller's market territory. So that's a great place to be, but it's also not this, the feeding frenzy and the craziness that we saw for some buyers. So that's good for both buyers and sellers. Um, and then we look at the one to $3 million price range, and we're at 2.91 months of supply, just almost three months worth of inventory. If the home is priced and marketed appropriately, um, it should sell pretty quickly. You're likely to only see one or two good offers and all things considered, if everything's done right, you should be done and out of that house in under three months. And then when you look at the $3 million price range, we are not in a seller's market anymore, over $3 million in Phoenix. And the nice thing is, is Phoenix didn't get hit as hard this month for the over $3 million price range as some other cities and towns did this, this past month. They are only at a five and a half month supply, which is almost as close to a very perfectly even stable market as you can get that benefits neither the buyer nor the seller. Straight up six months would be considered a true even stable market. And to be honest, we're at five and a half. So maybe slightly a little bit with a head tilt towards the seller side, but really that's an even stable market. That means if you're pricing your home, you need to be pricing in line or maybe even just under the comps in the neighborhood of homes that are like yours. Because to be honest, if the price and the property are not compelling, it's not going to be selling. So keep that in mind. You're no longer in a seller's market in that particular price range. That may change as we do often see lots of volatility in the higher end markets in Arizona from month to month. However, with all that said, keep in mind that we're going into our fall months, which generally um, start to pick back up with our sales as our seasonal residents come back and things cool off and people come home from vacation. So we won't know if this is truly just a summer slump until we get to about the end of September. However, what I do want you to keep in mind is that interest rates were just lowered again. Um, for the first time in four months, interest rates went below 4% or interest rates went below 5% for the first time in four months. So when you think about it, that's good news for home buyers and sellers overall. And some of those markets around the valley that had wide swings and went into even stable market territory, or in some cases into the buyer's market territory, we might see some shifting back as we get into our cooler months where traditionally we have more home sales. If you have any questions about what your home would sell for in today's market, or if you're looking to buy a home and want to know what you're up against in a specific neighborhood, go ahead and give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit my website at dustymartinrealtor.com.